Uh, I am finally making this happen, a little winter yoga series for you because cold exposure is one of the greatest health abilities we have, especially if you, like me, live somewhere where we have winter. So right now it is February in Wisconsin, and today I am lucky enough to be at about 35 degrees, um, which feels really wonderful because it's been below zero for the past couple weeks. And if you, like me, are someplace where you can get outside and enjoy a little bit of discomfort, a little bit of the struggle your body has to heat up in the cold, the hormesis, if you will, what a little bit of toughness, a little bit of struggle, a little bit of a challenge can help make your body stronger. We're going to use our circulatory system by allowing our body to feel the cold. It'll be short, it'll be sweet, but I'm challenging you, if you have cold exposure at your fingertips, allow yourself to get outside. Allow yourself to be a little bit cold for this yoga practice. All right, we are going to start at the top of our mats. Go ahead and just ground down through your feet. Pull your arms toward the ground, pulling your chest up and your shoulders out. Not necessarily back, not trying to throw your shoulders back, but trying to make your shoulders as big as possible trying to pull your chest up, trying to pull the top of your head away from your tailbone. Step and sink into the ground. Distribute your weight through all of your feet, the balls of your feet, the heels of your feet, your toes, and just ground here. Start to recognize your body in space. Start to recognize, oh, maybe you're outside, maybe a little bit of that chill, maybe a little bit of the heat. Hey, heat exposure is a thing too, so if you want to watch me do yoga in the snow while you are at the beach, that is fine. Wherever you are though, I really, really hope that you are finding presence, finding your presence in this moment. Take an inhale, bring our hands up all the way, stretch even farther, up as high as you can go, maybe a teeny back bend, and then forward fold, bring your arms through the center all the way down to the ground. You're folding at the hips. Beautiful, inhale, flat back, pull the shoulder blades back along your spine, making a tabletop, kind of engaging the hamstrings, engaging the core, and then really set your hands down on the ground, step both feet back. Beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna just, just engage in this plank, so tuck your tailbone underneath, pull your shoulder blades apart, making kind of that cage. And one more breath here. Hug your elbows along your sides. Come all the way down into that chaturanga. And then from here, untuck the toes. Keep your hands right here by your shoulders and give me a little baby cobra. So you're not bringing your hips off the ground. We're just pulling our head, chest, collarbone up. Come on back down. Let's tuck the toes. Come up, downward dog. Make sure you're still breathing. If it's a little bit chilly, feel free to bend your knees here. If you're feeling comfortable pressing those heels into the ground, feeling that nice stretch along the back of your legs, you can pedal out your feet here. Press through the hands, press into the feet. Keep the shoulders away from the neck. Let's walk our feet closer to our hands, as close as you can get them and then settle in. Tuck your head and let's roll up tailbone first. And then shoulders are gonna be the last thing. I'm gonna give this a little tuck so that that's not flying in my face for the rest of this. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, forward fold, hinging at the hips. Inhale, flat back, pull the shoulder blades back, create that flat back, engage the hamstrings, and release. Set your hands on the ground, press your feet back, tuck the tailbone from head to shoulders to hips to feet. One powerful straight line. 
strong arms, strong shoulders, belly button to the spine, core is turned on. Two more deep breaths here, in through the nose, out through the nose. Last one, hug your elbows to your sides. Chaturanga, come on down. This time, if you feel comfortable with a full upward dog, come on up, otherwise stick with that baby cobra. And pull those hips up, untuck the toes. Downward facing dog, let your head relax here. Press the ground away, but don't pour into those wrists. Try to make sure you're distributing your weight evenly. And breathe. This is a really nice, easy inversion. So just allow your spine to lengthen here. Send your tailbone up. Push the heels down. And let's pull up onto our toes, bend the knees, and you can either step or hop up to the front of your mat. And then roll up, tailbone first, every vertebrae. Inhale, both hands up. Come back down to center. We're gonna move one breath, one movement, one more time through that, making sure we're nice and warm. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, set the hands on the ground. Come into that plank. Good, inhale, chaturanga, come on down. Exhale, upward facing dog. And inhale, your way back to downward dog. Cute, beautiful. Bring up, um, up onto your toes, bend the knees, look forward to your hands, step or hop up to your hands. And from here, we're just gonna take our hands, if you feel comfortable, stick them right under your feet or grab onto your toes and sink into this forward fold here. We're feeling a little bit warmer. Remember, we're folding at our hips. So at any point, if it feels like you're pulling with your lower back to get down to this, just readjust. It should be your hips that are doing the hinging. And your core should also be involved. Go ahead and take your hands out. Involve your core so much that you can take your hands off and try to still keep yourself as close to your legs as you can. Good, let's bend the knees and give me a nice, slow and controlled roll up. Shoulders, head, last thing. Beautiful. Let's do some shoulder rolls to the back. Just moving those with some intention and some shoulder rolls to the front. I am a shoulder roll fan. I don't think we do enough shoulder rolls. Let's take and inhale both hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Good, inhale, we're gonna come into chair. So you're like you're gonna sit back into a chair. You're pulling your hips back, but you can still grab the ground with your toes. You can still feel the mat beneath your feet, but we're sinking those hips back and we're sinking as low as we can while still keeping our head, chest, shoulders up. Go ahead and smile here. This is a tough pose. Bring your hands into prayer. From here, we're gonna take our left elbow hook it onto our right knee with the goal of keeping our knees and our hips in line. Getting a beautiful twist here. Pressing into your hands to get that right shoulder to open up. Great for your digestion here. Nice little chair twist. If you feel comfortable, you can open up the arms and gaze up toward that right hand. Let's close it back up. And from here, listen carefully, we're gonna ground into that right foot and we're gonna take the left foot back into a lunge. Now we're in a twisted lunge because we're still set up from that chair. Go ahead and re-situate. Make sure your feet are both still facing the front while you're twisted to that right side. You're doing great. Remember to breathe to find those places that are tough and to send oxygen to them. And maybe you're starting to feel that invigorating cold. It's good for you. It's really, really good for you. Good, from here, we're gonna unbind, untwist. Take our hands around our front foot. 
beautiful. And we're going to take our hands, sweep them up into that high lunge. Take a nice deep breath here. Remember to take that tailbone, tuck it under, keep the core tight, stay in that nice low lunge, keep that front right knee behind the ankle, behind the foot. From here, we're gonna come into our warrior two. So we're pivoting the back foot so that it's parallel or perpendicular to our front, bringing that arms down wide into a strong T. From knee, our heel and our foot should be in line with that back middle foot. We're looking, gazing out over our right arm, feeling our right quad starting to work because we've been in this for a little while now. Good. From here, we're gonna take that into a reverse warrior. Come on back. Take that right hand forward and take it down into a side angle. Good, come on up. We're taking both hands back out. Warrior two, take the shoulder blades down. Sweep this left arm around, back up into that high lunge. We're breathing here. We're gonna bring the hands down around that foot. And from here, we're gonna take them all the way down to the ground, pick that foot up, hold it right here for three, two, one, send it back. We're in a plank, three breaths. Last breath in through the nose, out through the nose. And then we're gonna hug our shoulder, elbows back, come all the way down, upward facing dog, and take it back into a downward dog. Beautiful. Let's take our toes up, look forward, hop or step back up to the front of your mat. And from here, we're gonna come into another chair. So inhale, both hands up, legs are getting started right again. Firing up those quads, making sure we're sending the hips back. But our core is still turned on here, right? Everything is still working. And it's a great opportunity to smile. <laughs> if you take any of my classes, if you train with me at all, you know that I believe smiling helps. So let's take our hands into prayer. Take our right elbow over to our left thigh this time. Same thing, keeping our knees in line, our hips in line. Beautiful. Starting to press into your hands, opening up these shoulders into this twist, twisted chair. Settling in here, ooh, my quads feel it. Taking nice deep breaths, come a little lower. If you don't, open the hands up if you're feeling good. Let's close it back up and listen carefully. Stay in that, that position, ground in through that left foot. And let's pick up the right, send it back. We're in a twisted lunge now. Still taking care of our digestive system here. And from here, we're gonna take our hands, take them back in front, around that front leg. Reposition yourself as needed. Good, and from here, we're gonna sweep our hands up into this high lunge. We'll take our tailbone under, make sure our core is on. We're as low as we can while maintaining this form in our front lunge. Pressing back through our heel. Enjoying the fresh air, hopefully wherever you are because doing this outside is so, so good for you. Even if your neighbors can see you, try to get outside. Let's open up, pivot that back foot and we're coming into warrior two. Settle in here, enjoy the powerful stance, taking that back, or that front knee, pushing it open, don't let it fall in. Gazing out over your front arm. Staying nice and low, let's reverse our warrior. Good, and then let's take that arm down along our side of our front leg, reach that right arm up, side angle. Nice deep breaths here, in through the nose, out through the nose. Fiery leg, let's take it up. 
back into that warrior two and sweep that back arm around come on up to high lunge we're feeling that fiery quad staying really solid keeping our shoulders away from our neck breathing smiling let's come on down bring our hands down and once again we're going to pick that foot off the ground we're going to hold it right here for three two one send it back hold this plank tuck in the hips our core is turned on we're almost done guys all right let's take it all the way down to the ground and take it into upward dog inhale here exhale send it back downward facing dog beautiful let's walk our feet in and let's come to a seated position oh my quads feel this such happy happy feeling um anytime that you can be outside getting fresh air the better right so sit cross-legged that was your yoga practice so let's just go ahead and take a couple deep breaths here inhale and exhale and I know that there's all kinds of thoughts around this but I always end my yoga practices with a prayer because for whatever it's worth all the movement that I do all the movement that I encourage you to do is all in honor of Yahweh the only true God and so that is to whom I pray right now and you are welcome to join me dear Heavenly Father as we sit as we take in the scenes around us whatever they are wherever we are we just honor you and we thank you for just even a little bit of intentional movement we thank you that we can be together even if digitally and we thank you for the opportunity to take a deep breath and to recognize that our story is not over to recognize that our story has exciting chapters ahead joyful chapters ahead challenges ahead yes but challenges that you have ordained for us god i thank you so much for this cold air i thank you for the way it fills my lungs i thank you for this opportunity to share movement with those who are around me and i ask that everybody who's listening to those words as we go forward as we go throughout our day that we might find reasons to smile reasons to find strength reasons to find joy god thank you thank you so much for this opportunity may you be glorified in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you all so much for doing this practice with me. Please continue to move throughout your day. Do not let this be the only movement throughout your day. Just walk and stand up out of your chair sometimes and do little things like wrist rolls and whatever you can. Play with your kids. Go visit somebody who needs a visit and uh, have a good rest of your day. Namaste.